let's begin. And we do have Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Passionate, yes, Four of Pentacles is the energy, but I'm gonna guard myself a bit. I am going to tame myself a bit. I am going to think about myself a bit. But passion, yes. Um, Cupid's arrows and communication. Um, Scorpio, somebody here is sending a message and this can be your energy that I'm reading. So that's why I uh, want you to use your um, intuition and your better judgment. We have a lot of passion, but we also have the Six of Swords energy. It's the energy of, yes, I love this woman. Yes, I love this man, but I need peace of mind. Six of Swords, right, is the energy of, I don't want the trouble you know i i we have to it has to be a peaceful connection it has to be a natural connection we don't need torments of life we, well we get torments of life but if we have them in our own home that's another problem um a different i want to say we do have eight of wands and the seven of wands yes that is passion but somebody is a little bit defensive in self-protection mode um that is this energy of yeah, but what about some quiet time, you know? This, this is the energy. If you're going to protect yourself and be like this, I am going to be like this. I'm going to mirror back, you know, the behavior. Um, Eight of Wands and the Temperance. I love this. can be a Sagittarius, of course, but the Temperance is <clears throat> all about compromise. So this is your um, soulmate, the person you are dealing with, the person you love. They are willing to compromise. They are willing to bring balance, to do their fair share, because they are passionate and they believe in this, right? So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. It's kind of the energy, no, I don't want drama. And speaking of drama, we do have the devil, Capricorn energy. In reverse, thank God, three of swords and the justice. Um, Capricorn Libra energy okay again this energy of it pains me the devil energy the devil is fears is ego um, jealousy obsession something unnatural something unhealthy um, in this Scorpio can be your person can be together this dynamic and being hurt by the imbalance and the jealousy and the uh, fears and the obsession okay um you know you know whose energy is this um can be yours when you had enough um can be the person can be both together you might feel that this is so out of balance and we need balance because the energy of justice is here you need fairness and balance and kindness and and um, important decisions right how about we make this a very balanced um home right and um and connection and relationship so um of course for some of you the devil might be third party situations and stuff and we might still be hurt because of it um and the universe is saying yeah but balance is within you right we get the justice it's in reverse you can work on your own balance maybe not of the connection because it takes two to tango right but but we can work on our own um, inner balance and inner strength. So let's see Scorpio, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and the possible outcome. You, the person you are dealing with and bottom of the deck, the defensiveness card again somebody is defensive and uh, this is what hurts the connection somebody is finding excuses somebody is um you know when we have um conversations right and um i hope it doesn't happen often but you know life um, is what it is so and we have um conversations and they come from a place of honesty and they come from a place of love and um and we might say something and the other person reacts you know <clears throat> and um, it becomes a blame game, right? Where we 
because we don't want to address the issue like in a more intimate way we might um you know turn the heat to the other person because they feel the heat when we ask questions right so i don't know maybe it feels like um that is this um blame game and defensiveness that we get into you know and that and then that is the best one you know uh we're gonna stop the conversation there right and somebody leaves and the other person keeps talking with themselves <laughs> so um can be one of that um can be one of that energies right of defensiveness because we might feel attacked or maybe the words that are um, coming out of our mouth sometimes they may be uh, blunt and hurting and we don't want to but you know it happens that's why it takes trust and um you know uh, really believing that the purpose is to make the connection work and not to destroy um you know people scorpio let's see in the past on your side we do have the king of swords upright and the knight of cups so we have you upside down and king of swords um of course can be a gemini libra or aquarius honestly i believe that this is about a connection getting cold um king of swords that is this energy of distance of perspective of holding back this is the energy of i went through fire once and that's why i have a sword now so i cut off right from the start uh something that doesn't serve me right um so i don't know if this was your approach i don't know if this was their approach but uh, clearly we had you a little bit out of balance and a little bit emotional about this connection knight of cups in reverse is kind of overwhelming emotions um i don't want to say like out of balance or something but definitely um um extremely emotional and also um, maybe frustrated with this um king of swords it's yes it's um perfect when we expect communication right because we know we are going to get exactly uh, what the person thinks uh, but it has it uh, it has a frustration in terms of blocking right so probably you felt in the past that this you know um they are putting a wall between you and them or this is how it feels um they put a wall and it it was kind of you know it was the end of the world to kind of go um on the other side of the wall right and it became um stressful and uh, frustrating and and trying to make sense in some way of what's going on and got you emotional or maybe emotionally tired right that's another one we um hit walls every single time um we might um you know lose uh, emotional balance over this now this person of your scorpio they are they were in the past in the ten of swords in reverse energy and the page of wands one is a lot of pain that they were trying to recover from an ending probably you asked them um distance or maybe the way something that changed and again you swap sides sides right you, you 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 only take sides you only take the one that resonates but we have on this side uh, this person of yours um recovering in pain might be a medical condition might be a physical condition well it's one and the same but um can also be them feeling betrayed by um you know the coldness of this connection and also page of wands in reverse this energy of defensiveness this energy of i am not going to talk to you i i'm, I'm not ready to speak my truth and page of wands is also about passion and playfulness so it is in reverse somebody got a little bit distant um less involved less passionate less sensual less playful uh, because they were actually recovering with the ten of swords right they had um stuff to work on in the past scorpio mutual energies between the two of you six of wands in reverse with the ace of pentacles in reverse this is too much pride to make an offer what happened actually between the two of you in the past while one was cold and one felt hurt <clears throat> too much pride to make an offer too much pride to compromise too much pride to kind of sit down and say you know what um it's not working well right now so what's the plan right how can we make it work is it still possible to make it work because sometimes we wait for a long time or simply emotions are no longer there 
uh, we no longer understand each other, the chemistry is no longer good, the flow is no longer good, right? And sometimes we can uh, bring it back, sometimes we can't, and that's all right. Um, so um, I'm, I'm sensing that this is a little bit, um, you know. And while you have a king and a knight, which is, speaks of a speaks speaks of you on your side being actually more mature, more awakened, more in control. Yeah, maybe emotion emotionally a little bit touched by what happened, but still from a place of power. This person actually in the past uh, was coming from a place of um, of weakness and and betrayal and maybe sickness. We know Ten of Swords is a medical condition for some of you, so um, they were um, um, in the weak spot, if we can say it like this. And now I have the Justice in Reverse again. Interesting. Um, Scorpio, where are we right now? Well, we do have the High Priestess in Reverse and we have the Justice in Reverse, Pisces, Cancer and Libra again. We might be a little bit out of balance. We might be concerned by the lack of fairness. Um, for some of you, that is um, some secrets being revealed with the High Priestess in Reverse, right? Some secrets coming out, some communication, um, you know, coming your way. And we are like, zoot, this is kind of annoying, right? This uh, throws me out of balance, of course, and out of balance. Um, something is unfair in this you know, and it's interesting, um, justice um, in reverse as the overall energy, justice on your side, you know how it feels, it feels like you are doing, it feels like you are doing all the work to keep things in balance and because of it you are out of balance, okay, like you are, it's all on, and it's a very mental energy, Scorpio, and this is some food for thought for some of you, um, high Priestess is a lot of thinking. High Priestess is a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowing. It's the energy between the dark and the light. So, And we have it with the Justice in Reverse. So some knowledge maybe that throws you out of balance, some information, some communication, maybe your own intuition for some of you. They, you know, we might not, um, because of what happened in the past and because of um, overwhelming emotions and things we need, um, our emotional health that we need to, um, you know, work on might very well uh, not be there for you to help with your intuition. So we might be, um, you know, out of balance. And the intuition and the high priestess is the energy of being connected to the divine while being in the physical realm, right? Um, well, that's the dark and the light. The light is the spirit and the dark is the, the world, the earth right, the 3D and the physical dimension, so for some of you, um, we might not, uh, you know, some food for thought, you have to major arcana, we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice when we get them, so I would look um, to that form of balance that will allow you to see things through the eyes of, of the intuition and the spirit. Now this person of yours, we do have the star in reverse and we do have the seven of swords in reverse. They are lost, they are lost and um, seven of swords is the energy of um, cutting corners. I don't think this is the energy of cheating, lying and deceiving. I'm not feeling it at all, but I'm sensing somebody who goes from the ten of swords to the star in reverse, which is progress, okay? It goes from I'm not seeing and feeling anything but the swords in my body to, well, that is spirit and I will get guidance. I love the seven of swords in reverse because this is them being aware and slowly aligning to the energy that they are lying to themselves. Um, their life might be a lie right now. The lack of passion might come from all the swords in the world being in their body and with the star card starting to um, wish and manifest and want and um, it is the guiding light, the star, right? It is the light at the end of the tunnel. So somebody slowly is, is starting to look out for the light, which is beautiful. Aquarius energy too. 
mutual energies between you and this person we do have the king of wands and the seven of pentacles this is absolutely the energy of an aries leo sagittarius but it is the energy of patience it is the energy of passion it is the energy of taking the time it is the energy of divine timing this is also the energy of yes i'm still passionate yes you are still passionate but now it's not the time right that's a seven of pentacles now it's not the right time and it makes sense overall energy we have the devil and the three of swords we are healing we are trying to bring back balance we are trying to make decisions while we protect ourselves and we are a little bit defensive why because now it's not the time right yeah but why because um you know somebody is having a very um important journey and i'm feeling this is more your person than you i believe you are in a good spot in a place of power a little bit um maybe out of balance um you know thrown off by what happened but still in a position of power i'm also sensing the king of wands is yours um scorpio can be another uh, uh, another fire sign can be a fire sign <clears throat> being patient and taking the time to heal and align um but i'm i'm sensing on your side a lot of power coming from um you know this strength within you maybe we are not listening to a couple of things but mainly from a place of power so energy is coming your way we do have the two of wands and the seven of pentacles some food for thought maybe we are rushing into making choices um, two of Wands is choosing a path. It's about crossroads, but Seven of Pentacles in reverse is like, you know, let's take the time um, to make informed decisions, educated decisions, and especially if we are choosing a path, you know, um, it's quite important because we uh, take it for a long time for the next life cycle, right? So, um, and sometimes it's like every 10 years or so for some of it depends right on your life path but the idea is um some food for thought a little bit of patience and um and choices absolutely you have choices which is good um scorpio this person wants to open up and probably will five of pentacles in reverse and then you show up here queen of cups in reverse they want to open up they are starting to open up actually towards the end of june and again timing and um energies around them but you show up all over their energy which is good um again this energy of being distant but it's their um energy to with the five of pentacles in reverse to open up uh get closer communicate um and you know i'm gathering uh, strength actually and emotional balance to do so Um, mutual energies between the two of you we do have the hermit and the emperor virgo and aries energy but this is being guarded this is protected this is wisdom this is thinking both of you wanting to come towards each other in a very um uh, smart way um after life lessons and soul's journey and with the emperor might be a little bit of control um in all honesty this is two people coming together mutual energies from two different places one is a place of control and power one is a place of wisdom one is a place of um you know i have a plan and, and a very rational one the hermit is the place of you know what i've done my homework and this is what i um come up with or i came up with right um Two completely different energy scorpio some food for thought for some of you one is fully hurt one is simply very powerful and making um, mind decisions um uh, rationally knowing oops i am not in balance so i better do something about it. i'm going to be a little bit distant to control my emotions i'm going to choose if i have to because I need to kind of evacuate this energy of out of balance. Well, this person, or can be your energy, is beautifully um, coming out of hurt and betrayal, aligning themselves slowly, and opening lines of communication towards you, right? You are on their mind. You are on their mind. Um, but they are 
so beautifully going from ten of swords to the star to the hermit right aligning and then seeing the wisdom in it um beautiful journey for them um and they do it because there is a lot of hurt here and things are out of balance and they want to make it work um scorpio this person wants to make it work now let's see let's ask for some guidance let's see what we are supposed to do here And Scorpio, simple act of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you have to do, you are actually invited, you don't have to. It's um, ultimately, it's absolutely your choice. But we do have simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. And um, Scorpio, appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love okay I, I i don't feel you are guided outside this connection on the contrary right you are guided to be kind and to um, see the opportunity to grow in this situation so um let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow we have loneliness i know that i'm never alone so scorpio just have to bring back this confidence that whatever the struggle, you always have spirit guides with you. We do have surrender, dra surrender drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So I don't know who's bringing the drama in the household, but you know, Surrender drama and joy. You need to bring back joy. This is so in line with the previous energy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Right? We need to bring back joy. Not the justice card twice, not the harsh decisions, the cold ones, but joy and unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Joy and unity, no drama. Bottom of the deck, surrender to spirit. And it's kind of the idea of the high priestess, right? Alignment with the spirit. And we have it in reverse. So it's kind of the universe repeating. How about we align, right? Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Beautiful. I love this. Now, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe for me, please. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.